Hello everyone and welcome to an actual YouTube video this time. Yeah, what a surprise. But um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about a band called The Symposium, which is a band that I absolutely adore. Um, <laughs> sorry, I have a dog with me right now. Um, I've been listening to this band for over half a year now, and it's managed to overcome bands I've been listening to since, well, for almost all of my life. Like, it's just such a good band. It's such just an... Um, this is such an impressive band and such just a really good very clean very polished and an almost perfect band all of their music slaps both of their albums which is a debut or self-titled album or whatever you call it which goes by the name the symposium or however you pronounce the name then there's drugs which is another album and I liked both of these ones and just thinking about how good they are it just makes you want to sort of spread it with you guys because th this is a band that's just so underrated I love it so much for their first debut album or whatever you like to call it once again I just really all the songs are just so consistently good They're, it's just it's a perfect album in my opinion absolutely perfect my favorite songs do have to be streams red river and the physical attractions and for drugs it would be the 80s poison which I'll get to in a second and probably Half Life. Those are always really good, really, really good songs. And I first found out about this band when I was just going through Spotify, adding songs to my playlist, and I came across the Physical Attractions, which is an absolute <clears throat> such a good song. So I've been listening to that for a long time, but it's not that wasn't the song that really got me invested in them. There's another song called Poison, which once again I'll get to in a second because it's so good. That was a song that made me really look into them. And then I was looking at their YouTube channel and then I found out that they were the same people who made the physical attractions. So that only made me want to look into them further. And their songs are just so good. It, it impresses me how good they are. Like, Poison has to be, in my opinion, not only one of the best songs of this era, but the song, one of the best songs ever, in my opinion. It's so good. It, it comes from a band which doesn't get that much views, like at all. And some of their songs only have 200 likes, and that's most of their songs is around that. And it's just so good. The songs are so polished and so clean and everything. And it just impresses me. Then another really small little nod that I like about them is that at the end of some of their songs have like this little ending or side melody which is completely different than the actual song but it still feels relevant and similar to the actual bass of the song. I, it's just like this little whimsical little music numbers and it's just stop biting me. All right. That's just so good. And I... I love them. So, they're just so good. Their songs have this really sort of laid back vibe to them. It's very, very, very instrumental. Some of their songs only have like four or five lines of words. And it doesn't really matter because it's just so good. You really need to listen to them. Just listen to Poison and trust me, you're going to get hooked. It's, it's just such a good, such a good band. And another thing that I like is how consistent all of their albums are. All of the albums have similar feelings, but they're all different enough to stand out alone. And some of them sort of take nods from other ones, like have similar melodies, similar lyrics, but still expand into like different sort of songs. And the uniqueness compared to how small they are is just impressive because you would expect this stuff from bigger bands. Like this puts music at the top 100 charts or whatever it puts them to shame it's so good i can't stop listening to them it's definitely one of the like top top two bands personally i just can't stop listening to them and they, they just have so much good songs there is not a single bad song that they've made and i wish i could have listened to them sooner just so i can buy their exclusive merch like the vinyls and posters and t-shirts and whatever because they're all sold out now but usually around well yeah around 2017 is when 
they really started making all their songs, you can tell, you can feel the passion, you can feel the glory, you can feel everything within their music. There's just so much emotion, so much ever <clears throat> effort in there. Stop. Okay, there's just oh, it, oh, it's it's amazing. I love them. If I were to marry a band, it would be okay. You know what? You can go. Oh, be free. Oh, it's just, it's just oh God. This is a song. Well, any one of their songs is something that I could just lay back and listen to for long periods of time. Or till the end of time. Who cares? And that basically sums up how much I love this symposium. Alright, well, peace out.